It's springtime again, and the animals are watching the humans watch the animals as Flamingo Land opens for another season. The Hepworths from Doncaster have been enjoying watching Flamingo Land TV, and they've come to visit for the first time in about three years. You guys having a good time then? Yeah. yeah. What do you like best about Flamingo Land then? Um, the motorbikes, don't you, Spoon? No, I don't. Oh, I love the motorbikes. <laughs> What happened there then? He cried. Oh, I did not cry. He made a grow back cry. <laughs> he, got to, he got to ride on his own. He needed more trousers. <laughs> but while there's no shortage of visitors to the park, this episode of Flamingo Land TV's all about a new arrival in the zoo. It's the story of a species that's extinct in the wild, which makes this particular birth even more remarkable. Sam de Bell has come to check on the new baby. The scimitar horned oryx is a desert antelope native to North Africa. They've been hunted to extinction for their stunning horns, which can grow to a metre in length. Another new lot. What are you up to? All right, girls? You ready? Come on up for a run. Good girl. All righty. Steady on. Um, the horns are very valuable. There's a, a nice little trophy to have on your wall. Um, and that's and that's it really. It's just vanity by um, people that have seen hundreds of them wandering around. Unfortunately, after you've taken too many away, they just can't sustain their numbers, and they became extinct in the wild. Um, the small baby that we've got here, we're really pleased with her. She's a female. Um, she was born back into January, beginning of February. Um, her mother's um, a first-time mum, like they all uh, are. Um, she was born late at night. Nice, uncomplicated birth. Mother took to her straight away. The mother was at Uncalf, whilst while the mother was giving birth she was separated from the rest of the herd just so if there were any problems we, we would be able to sort of assist in some way. There were no problems, it was fantastic, it was lovely to watch. Mother turned round straight away and, and said hello to her. At that point we let the rest of the herd in just as, so they could all see the baby as well and all the herd came up, gave her a sniff, a new, bit of a nuzzle and then left mum and baby to get on with it. The male at the moment, he's not with the herd, he's uh, being kept separate. This is to ensure that we don't have any more winter births, so he'll be reintroduced in September, end of August, beginning of September, um, and then we can ensure that we've got spring births for next year. This is like a, a, a segregation contraception? Though. Yes. You can't ask him not to. He will <laughs> just go and do it anyway. The girls are keen as well, though, so it's unfortunately it's on both sides. Well, does that mean they're up for it all year round? Yeah. yeah. So they never have a headache? No. No. Perfect women, really. Sam hopes that this tiny scimitar horn oryx will be the first of many bred here at Flamingo Land. There's already a program to reintroduce them to the wild in Tunisia, so one day this baby could be roaming the deserts of North Africa.